Today I am going to show you how you too can create an interactive and digital timeline ready to be shared with your students on a VLE virtual learning environment or simply via a link. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. First of all go to the website timeline.nightlab.com this website is going to walk you through the different steps needed in order to create this digital timeline. Now the real power behind it is Google Spreadsheets. So we are going to create a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is going to contain all the data we want represented in our timeline and then using that data the website is going to create a visually appealing timeline. So go ahead and click on make a timeline. What this does is it presents us with a spreadsheet template. Go ahead and click on this button and use this template. Now we are going to open this template and then we are going to create our very own copy of it. So the website has now created a copy of this template within my own Google Drive and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this the flipped channel history. And I've already prepared a couple of things I would like to have represented on this timeline. But before that, let me quickly explain to you what sort of things we can embed. We can have information, we can also have images, and we can even have video all playing from within this timeline. So to make that easy, let's make sure that you delete the rows you do not need. Because our timeline is not going to work when we have empty or blank rows left. So I'm only going to use three rows, so I'm going to remove the bottom five. So delete rows five to nine, and I'll leave these three. Now I do not need the information already here, so I'm going to delete that. Good, we can now enter year, month, day, time. We can even enter end year. You can have a headline, text and media. Now the media and the media credit, these are the two most used features. So let's go ahead and look at the first video I would like to see embedded within my timeline. And this was my very first upload to this channel, a motion capture created by an earlier's class. Now as you can see, this video was published 6th of October 2013. So let's go ahead and put that into our timeline. 2013 October, which is the 10th month, and then we have the day, which was the 6th of October. So, 6. And the headline is my first upload. The text, this is a video created by the early years class. Okay, we can now also add the actual media. So what we do now is we simply copy the URL and paste. We're also going to credit this to flipped classroom tutorials. Make sure you always credit your sources, very important. And then you have extra options. You can change the background color by simply entering a hexadecimal color, which we are not going to do now. We can add a separate thumbnail and we can add them to a group. But just for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to leave it as is. Now the second thing I want represented is this image. So let's demonstrate how to add a image. So copy the image address. Again, the same thing, a random number this time. So 2014. Um, let's say the third month and there's no day. The GEG West Bangkok logo. And then the text. This is to demonstrate the use of images. Okay. We are going to paste our URL there and we're going to credit GEG West Bangkok. Now the third line will be my final video which is a different upload and this was the 23rd of March 2015 so let's go ahead 2015 all about Google Docs. Again we take this link 
copy it, paste it in the media column, and we credit flipped classroom tutorials. Good, my spreadsheet is now ready to be converted into an interactive timeline. Before we can do this, we have to click on File and publish this to web. So publish to web, publish. Are you sure you want to publish this selection? Yes, I am. So click OK. And you are now presented with a URL. Simply copy this URL, go back to timeline.nightlab.com, scroll down and paste your URL into this box. We are going to enter and we are now presented with two options. We have our embed code which we can use to embed our interactive digital timeline onto our school website, onto our class blog, maybe even onto our VLE or virtual learning environments. We can also get a link to send to our students and let's go ahead and preview what this will look like. This is what my timeline will look like. As you can see we have our YouTube video on the left, we have our title, our text, we can scroll down, we have our timeline here, we can zoom out, we can zoom out quite a bit so we can see, oh there's uh, some more information on this timeline, we can also zoom in. You can add as many entries as you want. We can also play our video from within our timeline, so let's go ahead and have a look at this, I can click on play and this video starts running within the timeline, no need for your students to leave your timeline. We can then, once we're finished, go to the next image, which is, oh, the GEG West Bangkok logo. So let's go ahead and find out when that happened. Oh, March 2014. Okay, and next, another video, March 25th. And again, we have our videos. So as you can see, to summarize, a very powerful tool to flip your teaching, flip your classroom, and just have an interactive timeline on your VLE or class blog. I hope this was helpful. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up below, or just get in touch through the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.